And now people, I get comments like, stop stealing Bill Burr's laugh. Yeah. <laughs> right. Where you go, <laughs> like you can't let the joy out. You're right. trapping it because yeah. it's, it's not, Just it's too vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. It is the Woody Show. And as promised, we have an in-studio guest with us this morning. Now, this is somebody who was a frequent guest on our show many, many years ago. When we did the show in San Francisco, long time, and then uh, we got reunited here recently at the Burt Kreischer show that uh, we did that big party mm-hmm. with uh, Burt and a bunch of listeners, the fully loaded tour. And I'm like, oh my god, I know that guy. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> and I went over and we talked for quite a while. Guys, Greg Fitzsimmons Great. is here. Yay, Yay. Great. Yeah. How come we've so been happy. dead to you for the past? Yeah, why did why yeah. did you hate us for so well, long? You must no. you must need us now or something. Yeah. Well, yeah. first of all, I want to apologize. I'm a little late. I was in the parking lot and I couldn't find a spot. Some douche parked one of those like military style. Oh, the cyber trucks. trucks. Yeah, yeah. So yep. I keyed the shit out of it. Yay! It took me. A <laughs> nice. Happy and, to oh, hear it. <laughs> yeah, we might we might know the owner of that truck. <laughs> Oh yeah? yeah. Like, are, are you are you feeling small and undercompensating <laughs> to my literally? I literally par- parked it today was or you know, yesterday was the first day. Yeah. That I had it in here, and uh, it's impressive, isn't it? Well, if it seems like something that if the apocalypse did happen, that's kind of the car you want to. Yeah, be yeah, in. yeah. You come knocking. You come yeah. knocking. Prepper. You yeah. say, yeah, yeah right. Oh, make fun of oh your small penis. Oh. Right. But if and it is the apocalypse, the drops. where are you gonna drive it? Yeah. Where? To uh, what event? To what store? Yeah. What's gonna be? Everything's gone. What's your game plan? Yeah, but okay. you'll you'll be surviving in your It'll ugly bu- truck. It's, it's bulletproof and shiny. Oh, cool, cool. <laughs> How's the visibility out the back window? It doesn't look good. Oh, it doesn't exist. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, well, because the, the tonneau, the the bed cover fully covers that. So there's a big like uh, it's just it's digital. It's a screen inside. Oh, yeah. so if, so if there's a digital malfunction you're yeah. driving without I seeing got out the back. rear view mirrors greg uh-huh. it's fine uh, yeah. uh, it goes fast uh you get you know you, you get... <laughs> it goes fast. he said he could sleep in it uh, you yeah, could sleep could. because you could sleep right. under that bed cover yeah yeah yeah, yeah those, those are, those are yeah. called trucks but you yeah. know you right. can't do you can't feel good about yourself as a person when you're alone with your thoughts at night Knowing that that thing's in your driveway, yeah, like they they yeah. make air mattresses that fit in that really bed, cool. so yeah. when all the chicks come over, oh, the yeah. chicks, they just can't they can't resist it. Even right. people with Hummers are like, "What a dude!" <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly. Wait till I get it wrapped in like a Tron. That's what he's looking at. Tron, Tron style wrap. with the reflective yeah. beams wow. on That'll it. That'll look super yeah. cool. Yeah, they're gonna make you put the Woody show on the side of that. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. Wait, so what do you? What's your role at this show? Uh, I, I'm like a special coordinator, content producer, so like yeah. field reporter it's like a content that's right. okay so interviews so, juggalos so you're yeah. making real money i mean have are you, you making as much as woody well have no. you <laughs> have you seen cart narks like yes we're, uh, that's the cart narc. oh you told me about this when yes. we were in buffalo that's yeah. agent Pittsburgh. sebastian this is agent sebastian yeah. right so oh, okay. it's, it's my official work vehicle so that's yeah. right off yeah. in that oh, respect he's got oh. that cart narcs and so, hey, people have pulled guns on me so it is good that it is bulletproof oh. greg fitzsimmons is here <laughs> and uh, his newest special, You Know Me, it's out now on YouTube, at Greg Fitzsimmons Comedy. Uh, it was recorded in another great Woody Show city, Austin, Texas, at the Comedy Mothership. That's Joe Rogan's spot, yeah, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, and so uh, you should check that out. And this is this is very flattering, you guys. Greg Fitzsimmons, in his new special, he's been out there doing a lot of work on this. I think you said 23 podcast appearances <laughs> in three weeks. Yeah. And this is number twenty four. Oh, well, that's the new media tour. Like the anytime, last stop on the, on the train. Has it, he, uh, you are the last stop. Chugga yeah. chugga yeah. choo choo. <laughs> yeah, but you no, told me, that. wait, you said chill out and wait until things calm down, and yeah, then yeah, this will yeah. be like the second wave. Why well, did like, I you did. guys are going to put me over the top? Because yes. somebody pull up the special right now. You know me on YouTube, and let me know how many views we have. Okay. You guys are about to put me over a big milestone. Excellent. Oh, um, we're always happy to help. But no, yeah. it's, it's it's great to see you, man, because it has been a long time since you've been on the show. Yeah. Uh, it was many, many moons ago. So long ago. Yeah. The first time I met Greg was, I was 25. Wow. wow. That's so that was how long ago it oh was. Oh, my God. Yeah. So we're talking like 40 some odd years. Now, people were doing the Charleston. Yeah. Uh-huh. You're right. Yeah. 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 And he yeah. dated women. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. yeah. It, it was so long ago, Greg was still married to a woman. Right. Yeah. That's how things have changed. Are you a yeah. homosexual now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am a gay American. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Now, how do, you, how do you like decide if you're going to call yourself gay or queer? That's a good idea. Uh, good question, Greg. Um, I just went with gay. Yeah, I've never heard I've you never, say that. I don't. I've never liked that term. Yeah, queer sounds too gay. I saw. <laughs> I saw a funny video. I thought about Greg on this one too. It was a. Uh, 
it was a trans man. Okay. So wait, so if someone was female and now they're a man. That's okay. a trans man, correct? Oh Not a trans God. female. You sound like right. such I don't a know. Boomer right Dude, now. I can't yeah. figure it out. Yeah. Anyway, because right. I don't mm. care. But yeah. I want to get it right out of respect. Yeah, it's nice. Trans man okay. Yeah. Okay. is uh, answering questions uh, on their Instagram live feed or whatever about their cat. No. And somebody says, Oh, is it a boy or a girl cat? And they go, oh. Well, it's a boy. Right. And they go, well, How do you know? <laughs> and they said, Because, well, I had to have its nuts cut out. <laughs> and so they go, Oh, so they don't have nuts anymore, but it's still a boy. And this 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 uh, trans man was left speechless. Yeah, yeah, it's backed into a corner for right. sure. <laughs> well, and was, also all cats are gay. Also <laughs> true. Very yeah. true. Everybody knows Very Everybody, true. that is absolutely true. It's a fact. Eight seven seven forty four. What is the phone number? By the way, uh, Greg Fitzsimmons for our audience in Philadelphia. He's going to be at Helium in Philly, November seventh through the ninth. So you can get uh, information about all that. It's uh, at Greg Fitzsimmons on Instagram. GregFitzsimmons.com. More with Greg coming up next here on The Woody Show. All right, welcome back. Hey. Greg Fitzsimmons is here. Yeah. Yeah. It's a new special, You Know Me. It's out now on YouTube. Tons of different uh, podcasts that uh, he's doing, including your own Fitz Dog Radio. And, uh, I mean, you make the rounds. You, you're, you're friends with all the cool people, man. Joe Rogan, uh, mm -hmm. you know, of course, Howard Stern. You've been on that show a billion times. And then uh, Gina's former employer, the Adam Carolla show. Yeah, we go yeah. way back, me and Fitzdog. Yeah. yeah. Love Gina. this man. I, I, I always love coming in and seeing Gina. Great energy. Thank you. The yep. best. And uh, yeah, I just did Carolla for the hundredth time. I'm the most yeah. frequent guest yeah. in the history Incredible. of the show. I heard that. I didn't know if that was a real number or just like how Greg <laughs> says, that was like a billion dollars. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who yeah. keeps track, you it. or Adam? He yeah. did. They he threw did. a big celebration for me. Yeah. Amazing. So you're yeah. not you're not living here anymore, right? I mean, Yeah, you know, I live you, in Venice Beach. You do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How? Oh, I thought you spent some time here, but I thought you were spending most of your time <laughs> elsewhere. Yeah. No, I try. A lot I, of people are doing that now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, no, I would love to do that. I would like to mm -hmm. be somewhere else. I'm I'm really getting sick <laughs> yeah. of Venice Beach. Yeah. Which tent do you yeah. live in? Exactly. Yeah. Which yeah. tent's up front you, of your house? Are you like, uh, like Alpha Abikini? Like, yeah, near like Abikini. The, like, like the cool mm -hmm. part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I bought a house there 22 years ago. Oh, So oh, it's amazing out. because no, I, wait, I bought this wait, don't, house. Don't, I know where you're going to go with this. What? Greg loves playing this game. All right, so you bought oh, yeah, the house how many pay? years ago? I bought it 22 years ago. 22 years ago. Is it a townhouse or is it like a single family? It's a single family with a duplex in the back oh, with, okay. with oh, a wow. rental unit upstairs. Jeez. Ooh! Oh, wow. yeah. right. in, the, in the back. So how many bedrooms, how many baths? Uh, two, three, five. Uh, off street or garage parking? Or no, off, off, street, off street, street parking. Okay, really? you go, nice, okay. So, uh, uh, hot tub. Is, now was oh. it- 22 not, years ago. It wasn't a fixer upper, right? Like when you bought it, it wasn't a fixer upper. We threw upper. some money into it. Not you a did. ton, though. It, okay. was, it was pretty ready. All right. Yeah. All right. 22 years ago. 22 years ago. Greg. All he, that. Even back then, I would say... He loves his real estate stuff. He loves yeah. like the... Yeah. He goes on Zillow, looks up everybody's... Stuff. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So 22 years ago, I'm going to say... Oh, God. I could be way off. 600. Six hundred thousand dollars. I'm going lower. I'm going lower. Lower. Wait, lower. I, I, I've, I've heard this. I've heard. I, the, we were t we were talking about. You know, I'm sticking with it. Six hundred. Yeah, Six hundred. Tell me how much you paid. Six ninety five. Oh, Six ninety five. Okay. Okay. Incredible. So the, very good, Greg. So not that's too very bad. good. What like and what what would it go for now? Like if you sold it and got the hell out of California, like on Zillow, it's listed at two point three million. See? Nice. I know. <laughs> that, that just gave Greg like a real estate boner. Yeah. yeah. I'm so addicted to that. Where stuff. are you gonna go, Austin? Is, yeah, where would you? Yeah, where would you go? I'd like to go to Ireland. My, oh, really? my wife okay. is an Irish citizen, and I have all four of my grandparents are from there. So I'm just sending in my paperwork to become a citizen as oh, well. Really? Yeah. So nice. We can live there, get all the benefits. Wow. Uh, you and know, still work? And uh, I could work in Europe a little bit. Oh, mm -hmm. he's beloved. Yeah. Yeah. All I'm, over. I love it all. Globally. Over. But yes, also <laughs> and I speak seven languages. So I could just go from Belgium. I speak Belgium. You speak Belgium? <laughs> yeah. What? Wow. I can, I can he, never... speaks, <laughs> he speaks France. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then they have airplanes, Greg. So yeah, that's true. You know, yeah. if, uh, that's true. If that, that's here quite a to... commute, though. <laughs> no, I think uh, the two point three million plus. I've s I guess how much I have in the bank. Oh God! Oh, saved. Oh, oh, God. God. You're killing yeah. Greg. Right Thirty five right. years of working. Yeah, yeah. Greg. Yeah. Thirty five years stuff. of comedy yeah. and writing. Well, and raised two kids and put two kids to oh, college. Oh, well, the yeah. negative. Wait, where did they go to school? Negative though? forty yeah. grand. Uh, what colleges? Uh, went went to DePaul and the other ones at Santa Monica College. Okay, I thought I was gonna say like College of the Canyons. Right. Yeah. College of the Crayons. Right. 
That's oh, hey, hey. I, I went great. there. That's great. Jeez. That's where Sammy High went. High-end crayon. It's a great <laughs> school. It's yeah. a great school. Yeah. So uh, 69 bucks. $69. Yeah. With $69. two kids in college. Higher yes. or lower than $69. Higher than $69. $69. Oh, wow. Good. Yeah. good for you. You're in good shape. That's great. Nice. Greg Fitzsimmons is here. Comedian Greg Fitzsimmons. He's got his new special. It's called You Know Me. It's out now. On YouTube, we're looking to push him over the top. Yes. At Greg Fitzsimmons Comedy, it was uh, recorded at the Comedy Mothership there in Austin, Texas. And uh, if you're familiar with uh, Greg Fitzsimmons and his comedy, you know what to expect. I mean, there was no... Like, you know me. There was no breaking new ground on this one. It's it's about you. It's about... Uh, I, I haven't really. I didn't realize that you were a sober guy. I kind of felt bad because I think I said, "Hey, let's go grab a I drink." Think you did. When we were at the mm, Burt yeah. Kreischer thing because, of course, it's a Burt Kreischer event. There's booze That's what you expect. everywhere, yeah. everywhere. Flowing. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's what you were like a teenager, right? Seventeen, eighteen. When I stopped, no, I was probably twenty. Oh. Five, 24. Oh, old man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But was I that... started, yeah. I started when I was like 12. We used, I mean, I'm Irish. Yeah. So, okay, you know. so you're Irish and sober. Irish and sober. Was it like a rock bottom thing or did it become like a, just like a project? You're like, oh, let's see if I can do this. And like, uh, I, I see where this is going. Yeah. I, um, no, I totaled a car. I got arrested for fighting a few times. Oh. But it wasn't Real that, Irish stuff. <laughs> it wasn't that low. It was just more of like, uh, I found comedy. Yeah. I'd never been good at anything. I was a bad student. I was not a good athlete. And then I found comedy and I was like, I kind of felt like I could do this. But, yeah. And then I went on stage drunk one night. It was, it was, a, it was a show in Boston for the children's hospital. Oh, it was, no. It was, it was, <laughs> see, that's yeah. hilarious. You are good at this. But the children weren't there. It was, the, the check was being handed to them, but the benefit was at noon and it was the week of Christmas, and all the union guys from Boston, all the Southie guys, yeah. Yeah. construction workers, and they all came into Nick's Comedy Stop, which was a mob joint in Boston. And the comedians would go up while the prostitutes who worked, it was in the red light district, yeah. prostitutes who were friends with the comedians walked around the audience with hats, topless, and they collected money for the kids. Oh, that's and nice. the kids, yeah, for the kids. Yeah, that's a good and it benefit. Was, it was called yeah. Tits for Tots. <laughs> <laughs> and so I went on stage, I started drinking, and I was with, I had some friends that I played hockey with that were all like uh, really tough construction worker guys. Yeah. And we're doing shots and doing pictures, and they put me on towards the end of the show. And I got up and I tanked. And when you're drunk and you're bombing, you you leave your body. I was <laughs> oh, floating God. above Nick's comedy stop, oh, looking at the the Celtics jerseys, <laughs> yeah, and, no. and and people hissing, yelling. And comedians always react in one of two ways: either they they shut down and whatever, or they start attacking. Yes, they get angry. I yeah, shut so down. You shut yeah. down. Oh, yeah. so and I got feel that's got actually better because then people feel bad for you. That's yeah. like that's the comedian's fetal position. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Right. It was it, it was like leaving Las Vegas. I was a little bit of a shoe <laughs> in the fetal position <laughs> in the shower. Right. And I got off, and I was so ashamed. And disappointed that was the last time I ever drank. Wow. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. I get it. It's a good bottom. Yeah, I get it. Because you were really trying to make a go of the comedy thing, which just clearly worked out. So that was a that was a good decision. I've crawled my way to the middle, yeah. and I'm <laughs> staying right there. So do you have a vice? What's your vice then? You don't drink. I mean, there, does that include, uh, when you say sober, I mean, is that California I'm not sober? sober? I'm California sober. So I weed. still... I took mushrooms last weekend. Okay. Oh, how'd that go? Like that microdose, really nice. or do you, like full, you go for it, like full on... Full I, octane I, mushrooms. Yeah, I take a yeah. I usually take like two grams, so it's not a micro dose, but oh, it's damn. not a, a what you call a hero dose. Yeah, this mm. is, see, this is now Gina's language. Gina, yeah, Brad. that's that's, a, that's that impressive. A I mean, it's it's more than a micro dose. People, you could have a normal conversation with someone, and be like, guess what? I micro dosing. Yeah, but you can't really have a normal conversation. I yeah. can't on two grams. I don't want to. No, yeah. it's like it, it. The thing is, I took mushrooms once. I went to a I went to a Neil Young concert at the Greek last <laughs> summer. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> and I love Neil Young, but he gets on stage and it's like a real NPR crowd. It's all like, you know, bald dudes with ponytails sure. and women mm. with NPR tote bags. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and Neil gets up and it's just an upright piano and a bunch of guitars, yeah. no band. And you and it's it's a beautiful summer night. It was like this is paradise. So he gets up. You can hear a pin drop and he starts playing, you know, Harvest Moon yeah. and nobody's and all of a sudden these three guys show up like <laughs> like right out of college shit faced frat guy <laughs> bros yeah and they think they're going to Guns and Roses and they're yeah. like 
talking. They're cheering during the songs. People are shushing them. Yeah. Yeah. They're threatening the people that are shushing them. And then, and I'm on, and I'm on mushrooms. So, you know, before they came, I was like, this is a perfect confluence of tripping and setting yes. and yeah. music. Now, these, I'm with my two best friends. Pardon the ignorance on this because I, like, my understanding of mushrooms from my friends, they have this, uh, what's that stuff, menace? The, uh, the stuff our friends have. The, yeah, the chocolate micro. Yeah, so it's, it's yeah. the mushrooms in the chocolate. And they're Same micro. Thing. But, like, to them, it brings them joy. They just feel they're happy. They're laughing yeah. the whole like, time. They don't talk about tripping or whatever. So, are you, like, hallucinating? Like, these no, kind of like mushrooms? No, like your friends. Like your friends. Okay, so you're just, just like this happy, 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 good. joy, joy kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, I'm feeling groovy. You're, you're at one okay. with the world. Yeah, but yeah. when yeah. there's confrontation, are you starting when to... When the confrontation happens, you go from <laughs> the most happy place to 100% focused on the negativity yeah. that's Ew. three feet away from me. Don't and like all, and I'm, really? I, the fights that I used to get into when I was drinking, it was always me defending other people. Yeah. Aww. And so they were attacking people around me who were the sweet... They were just... They were Democrats. Yeah. You know, <laughs> they just, were oldie libs. Yeah. And I just, and I wanted to protect them. So I started saying shit. And then the guy got in my face. I keep cursing. Sorry. That's and all right. the guy got that, in that's my why, face. That's why we have bleeps and delays Don't and worry. all kinds of stuff. And he's like, we're good. I'm not going to shit. And he was like, six foot three. I'm not going to. He's like one of those guys that gets in a fight on a golf course. Right. <laughs> like yeah. he's preppy but angry. Right. Yeah. And so, uh, and, yeah. and so I just, my trip went bad. And I just, yeah. I went and I, sat in the back we had really good seats i went and i sat in the back of the greek and yeah it's supposed to be like a out. chill thing yeah, yeah. 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 nice <laughs> night uh greg fitzsimmons is here his new special it's on uh youtube you can check it out right now it's called you know me uh of course he's got his fitz dog radio podcast you're involved in a bunch of different podcasts in fact uh you have connections to 23 other podcasts that you were on before <laughs> yeah, you came to this show to promote this special now okay so you start comedy and then your first writing job that you got because like I, we were talking about this, you're not doing as much stand up as you used to. Now yeah. you're doing. I mean, you've been doing it for a long time. But you were doing a lot more writing, and your first job as a writer was with Bill Maher. And That's I'm, right. And I'm interested in this because I've always watched Bill Maher back when it was on ABC, yeah. and then of course when he's gone to HBO, Comedy Central before that, Comedy Central. Like mm. I've watched all. I feel like all these different uh, you know forms iterations. That, iterations of the Bill Maher uh, politically incorrect. Yeah. Right? Now now it's real time. Um, and he's been getting a lot of crap more recently because they say, oh, he's gone right, where he's really just the same person he used to, he's always been, his positions are always the same, uh, but now it's like the world's so crazy on either end that now he looks like a moderate. And so I enjoy the fact that all these people who was all, who have always hated Bill Maher and would never talk to me about Bill Maher, <laughs> now all of a sudden there's, oh, did you see this clip about Bill yeah, Maher? Yeah. And he made a good point. What was it like? Because he's an interesting dude. What was it like working for him? Uh, it was very intellectual because um, politically incorrect, we basically had four panelists and they would represent the left and the right. Sure. So you had to, we pick the topics for the day and then you would go deep dive. Like if I got Ariana Grande, uh, not Ariana Grande, Ariana Huffington. Yeah. 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 Same person. Wow. Super, super political. Yeah. 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 The Grande so, Po. Then I yeah. would know, all right, she's a liberal, Huff Po, she's you know, from another country. And so you, you go deep into her and then you take the topic and you go, what's she going to say about it? Because my job yeah. was to write jokes for her. And so you spent the day and you put together like this 10 page manifesto yeah. that you could hand to her that not only had jokes, but it had takes on it, you yeah. know? Damn. And then for him, you would, you, you'd get there in the morning and uh, I used to rollerblade to work. I lived downtown and the show wow. was uptown. You said cats were gay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty gay, dude. Ooh. Well, and I'd get tripped on my boa that I wore <laughs> around my neck. <laughs> Tangled and, up. Right. And so uh, you'd sit there, you'd sit at your desk and you would write for, you would write until you had 40 monologue jokes about Oof. the topics from the, and this is before the internet. Yeah. So there was a guy named John Hotchkiss who used to put together the hot sheet. So he would go through the newspaper and he would like, you guys kind of have a hot yeah, sheet. You we, do your we go through a bunch and, of news. And, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then we would out. sit and we would crank out 40 jokes, which would take a couple hours. And then, uh, and then you'd meet and you'd go through the topics and you'd write on that. And then after the show, you would get together and you talk about, po unless you'd have a meeting after the show, unless Bill had one of his, Girl show. Like if he was yeah. in Cincinnati mm -hmm. the week before, yeah. then he might have now flown in some woman <laughs> sure. who Chris Hardwick once described Bill Maher's girlfriends as 
a Japanese anime artist would have a hard time drawing them. Oh nice. <laughs> my God. <laughs> and so they were just distorted faces <laughs> and, and it, you know, impossibly large breasts. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, he and likes a, what he likes. Yeah. Yeah. And a sadness in their eyes, a faraway <laughs> sadness. <laughs> no one they're going to go hook up with Bill Maher. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. If, if they were in the audience and you yeah. knew there was no meeting but was he a, was he a good dude? Bill was a, he was a good dude. He seems like he is who he is. Like, yeah, you know, he is. And I, if you're fine with that, then everything's going to be fine. You can get along. Yeah, I mean, it's like all I ask in life is just tell me who you are. Yeah. You know, it's like, don't yeah. be Ellen. Don't pretend oh, yeah, I wanted to ask that you're right. nice yeah. and then be the other way. That's what, yeah. that's what loses people. So uh, fun fact about Greg Fitzsimmons. Greg Fitzsimmons, has uh, he's a four-time Emmy-winning writer. Oh, nothing. So, and uh, mm-hmm. you won four daytime Emmys as a writer and producer on Ellen's show. Right. And obviously, she's got her new special, and is there's some damage control in there and everything else. Now, I've heard there's basically it's a tale of two Ellens, and you can tell me if this is true <laughs> or not. Like, before the show kind of hit, she was one way, and then how success, we talked about this recently, too. Someone gets that big deal. They get yeah. or athletes, too. They'll get like a re- they're great. They get a really big contract, and all of a sudden they're crap. Yeah. All of a sudden they can't remember how to play football. Uh, you know, I've seen radio people that get like a, some really some big show gets a really big. And all of a sudden they forget to be the show that they were when you know they were coming up. Yeah, they buy an electric truck. Yeah, yeah. I heard. <laughs> yeah, they buy a cyber truck. Some people yeah. call it transcending. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like I, I what I what I heard about Ellen, I've known other people who have worked in that show, and they say a lot of the stuff that you hear is absolutely true. Um, that once she kind of became Ellen famous talk show host Ellen and that hit, she just was like unbearable. That's actually dead on. It was, um, first of all, I was excited to get the job. I, yeah. I, I went after the job when I heard she had a, a show coming on. I, I've just always been a huge fan of her stand up. Yeah. And, her stand up's uh, great. That's it's the thing. Great. It's like, you know, it's, it's really good. And so I, uh, I did a submission and I was friends with the executive producer and the head writer. So well, I got hired helps. pretty quickly. Yeah. And then it was a it was a love fest because we were all I was there you know a month or two before the show launched coming yeah. up with what the show was going to be, and so we'd sit in Ellen's office and we would laugh and we'd bust balls and we'd play ping pong and it was just it was like fun yeah. And then, like the day we won Emmys, it all <laughs> changed. So, like, wow. what what changed? Mm-hmm. So, like, people started getting fired. People started yeah. getting shame. I, whatever. I signed an NDA, so I shouldn't. Did I you really? Yeah, I shouldn't be saying any of this. But let's just say this: <laughs> um, people had nervous breakdowns. Oh, yeah, people okay. cried. It was unpleasant. Well, because Greg, didn't you say that? Uh, well, Greg Gory. I'm sorry, Greg. There's two Gregs now. My, yeah, yeah, my bad. Like you said, um, oh, yeah, call me he, Fitz Dog. Yeah, Fitz Dog. All right, so, yeah. so Fitz Dog worked for Ellen, and like you said, he's got some great story. For, from what I remember, but I said, I'll oh, save it for the show. So yeah. I, I don't know if this is something, if, and if it's not something, you can tell me if it's going to violate your NDA yeah. or whatever. From yeah, so I'll say I don't, I don't know from what, what is, I remember, but. you had written a piece for her and ran into her in the elevator, and she handed it back to you and said, rewrite it, and you said, what would you like changed? Just everything. Just rewrite it. There's nothing wrong with it. Just rewrite it. She just liked that power to tell you to redo something that was perfectly good. Well, I got to say, that's not unique to her. You get that a lot with daily uh, hosts of comedy shows. It's, you know, in her defense, it's so much pressure. I mean, every day to have to come It sounds like everybody else is doing the work. You just have to deliver somebody else's brilliant comedy. Yeah, but your face is- Yeah, you're the face of it. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, it is, and I'm not excusing it, but it is. you do understand uh, that kind of stuff is is a gut punch because Mm -hmm. you've just put yourself into it. Not only that, but now you're going to be scrambling for two hours to come up with a new monologue. (laughs) And, you know, Jackie Gleason famously had a, a- a show where it was right. a Jackie Gleason show, Jackie variety Gleason. show. Oh, oh, oh. oh. and Sorry. so, so he would play golf. This down in Miami, he 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 insisted the show be shot in Miami because he liked to play golf. Smart. And so he would go out and he'd play nine holes, and then he'd come in, and somebody will have come from the writers' room to show him the jokes that they wrote or the sketches. And if and and if he had just played a bad round. He would kill everything, and so they started bribing the uh, the the guy who worked at the golf course find out how he played, oh, and then they smart. would give him they would give him a dummy set of jokes that he would kill, 
and then they would save the good stuff that they. <laughs> oh, that's, wow. that's, wow. that's kind of that's kind of brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that's they were going to pay brilliant. the other golfers to take a dive, but this is actually more efficient. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, dude, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. good. But then if he loved all the dummy stuff, yeah. But yeah. you'd be shocked that there's a lot of late night hosts that are not who you think they are. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Give us some names. I'll I can't. Can. Oh, you mm-hmm. got NDAs on them too. Look, I, it, was uh, probably, it was Sid Caesar, right? Uh, <laughs> right. Hell's yeah. a popping. Uh, you mean like current, current uh, talk well, show Kimmel's host? The, Kimmel's the best. Kimmel's the nicest guy. Treats everybody great. I mean, whatever. There's, there have been. They're not okay. necessarily all on the air I now. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody from across the pond. Is it? Oh, James Corden. I, I is that is that what you were talking about? Because Seabass hates. Oh him. well, I was. I, I pre hated yeah, I mean, James Corden. You, yeah, so he's I, been pre hated. Well so, yeah. Anyway, we won't put Did you. Did you work spot with him, or you just hated him as a viewer? Well, we worked with someone who worked with him, and he sucked. But beyond that, no. <laughs> I, I just got. I just got a number yeah, one unfunny, but just a phony vibe from him, though. Like anybody who's that into theater. And they use that as comedy. I don't trust. <laughs> it's, there's, oh, this is man. from a guy driving a cyber truck. Yeah, yeah. So. It's all yeah. tracks. Yeah, so that's yeah, pretty if, bad. Yeah, if you go that's to a, you go to a musical, the whole parking lot is cyber truck. Right? Right. Oh yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. 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 We, we yeah. might be yeah. more natural born enemies, yeah. but still. Yeah. Uh, Greg Fitzsimmons, his new special, "You Know Me," it is out now on YouTube at Greg Fitzsimmons Comedy. Uh, on in, I'm sorry, Greg Fitzsimmons on Instagram at Greg Fitzsimmons Comedy. That's on YouTube, and then of course uh, GregFitzsimmons.com. He'll be in Philly, everybody, November 7th through the 9th at Helium, and then uh, there's uh, shows that are uh, that are popping up. But you're still doing writing. You still writing for other shows? Yeah, I'm developing a show now with Bill Burr and for uh, his company. Love and Bill. It's a it's a we're calling it a uh, comedy noir. Ooh. It's a dark comedy. Yeah, I think that's a okay. That would be an interesting room to be a, a, a fly on the wall yeah. like i would just love to hear you and bill burr chopping it up and you know cracking each other up well bill like more bill is more like he hired me and then he'll go in and pitch it with me yeah but I, he's not sitting in the room no but i'm saying just in general it. let's get you guys to, well i was gonna say have a beer but you don't have beers i'm well, saying like get bill you used to you open can... for me we started in boston together yeah. he was my opening act yeah. for a while <laughs> he's great and now people like get comments like stop stealing bill burr's laugh <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> It's just a, it's just a laugh. Yeah, you don't know. A, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, sh- an emotionally shut down Irish laugh <laughs> yeah. where you, where you go, <laughs> like you can't let the joy out. You're right. trapping it because yeah. it's, it's not, just it's too vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Greg, it's, uh, it's great to see you. Thank you for coming by. That's it. Mm. I appreciate You're it. Done. Well, no. What else do we? What are, what are we covering? I don't know. What are you going to talk about? I could hang out with you guys all day. Aww. See, yeah. I love it. See, that's all, See, that's my biggest fear. That but, they're going to no, leave they're, and say, God, that sucks. Yeah, that like, was the worst. Like, we don't do a ton of guests. Really oh, really? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's, it's got to be somebody that oh. I really like oh, and I feel very nice comfortable with. No, I'm serious because it's like, uh, I always worry so much. Like, oh, my God. They're, they're probably, they probably hate this. This yeah. probably mm-hmm. sucks. They hate Stare it so at the much. Clock. Yeah, so no, I, I love I love when 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 somebody's a good radio person. I love coming. I know, in. but what about coming here? This oh, is number yeah. twenty four. I know. In Come three on. weeks, the caboose. <laughs> yeah, the, the caboose. Well, Greg, it's uh, it's great that you have an open invitation. Anytime you wanna you wanna come by, great to hear. You can it. Thank just you so come much. And, come and Thanks hang out here the on the show. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break. More Woody shows next. Hang on. 